Aries, hello, Amanda here. Welcome to the Unseen Hands Collective. This is going to be your December shift reading. We're looking at the shape you're shifting out of this month, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like. Aries, before we get into your cards, the image that's coming to me for you this month is scratching something into tree bark. And it felt like you were doing it to commemorate or remember or, or honor something positive that's happening for you right now in your life. It feels like a milestone moment that you want to not only remember and revisit as your future self. You know, I imagine um, like kids carving their name into a tree and then coming back and revisiting that tree and the, and the etching is still there. It's that energy. And you are recognizing on some level that this, there's some sort of shift you are making right now that is so important that you know it's gonna stand the test of time and you know you're going to look back and remember this moment probably for a very long time far into the future. And so you want it to be remembered as it is right now. And there's also an element of the act of carving that into a tree being, being at the same time a spell to allow this energy to stand the test of time. Like there's something really good that's happening in your life that you want to live on. You want it to stand the test of time. Like a tree. A tree can weather the seasons. It just continues to grow and dig deeper and root in and become stronger as time goes on. And, and that's what you're wanting, whatever this is in your life. It's like you're wanting it to be strong and stand the test of time like a tree. Very interesting. It's it's very um, sweet and also important energy. I just keep feeling like it's a, it's you can feel how big this is, and you're approaching it with a sweetness that. I'm just enjoying feeling into that energy. Okay, let's get to your cards. So today I am using the new Fifth Spirit Tarot by Charlie Claire Burgess. I'm so excited to explore this deck with you and get to know it together. So I've already pre-pulled your card, your cards, Aries for December, and here's your shape shift. The shape you are shifting out of this month is the King of Pentacles. The shape you are shifting into is the Seven of Wands. And I really like this shape shift actually because it feels, you know, this particular King of Pentacles has deep magician vibes for me. You know, the way this person is like fanning out their coat um, to reveal something. Oh, that's interesting. I'm just now noticing the way the coat is gold on the on the lining on the inside instead of a silver lining, a gold lining, baby. Um, it's gold on the inside, just like this pentacle. And there could be something here, Aries, about you've been working on something very valuable to you that you've been sort of keeping on the inside of your coat, so to speak. And now, you know, shifting out of opening up that cloak to reveal whatever that is inside that you've been saving up for or that you've been um, working towards. It's, it's, there's a real sense because it's magician energy for me, magician energy in the tarot is, is you creating what it is you want to create and having the resources to do that. So resources is a big theme showing up here for me. Um, the King of Pentacles, to, for me as a reader is Capricorn energy. That Capricorn energy is a focus on security, sustainability. Um, so I think you have been really focused on themes and issues around security and resources and having enough. And ha not only having enough, but having enough to thrive and flourish and what it means to thrive and flourish in terms of physical resources and working through any like money issues that may be surrounded, that may be wrapped up in what it is you are trying to create here, which looks to be something quite 
profitable. And maybe I'm speaking literally in terms of money, but profit can come in other ways. So this could be something emotional that I'm speaking of that has, that you've been working towards, that has the potential to become something quite sustainable. Okay, so take it how it resonates for you. But the shift seems to be away from the material and towards the creative and spiritual. I really, um, the Seven of Wands card is speaking to me really strongly because we've got these torches and spiky wands down here that are um, enveloped in this dark cloud and this smoke and they are on fire. And there's, that is signaling to me all of the chaos in the world that's happening right now. Coronavirus, uprisings, um, political mess. And there is this sense of the the crowd rallying together and kind of saying, burn it down. Um, and you could take that a lot of ways in terms of like, yay, the community is rallying together to stand up for what's right. You could also take that as like certain groups of people approaching change with destructive intentions and not destroying something to rebuild it, but um, I'm speaking of hate groups. So there's that, and then there's this beautiful wand here that's blossoming. It's got this lizard riding on it, and it seems to be rising above all of this with this like creative blossoming. And so this is telling me, Aries, that you are creating something very, you have the potential at this time to be creating something very artistically fulfilling for you, perhaps quite um, fiscally or resourcefully sustainable for you in the midst of absolute chaos, change, uprisings, dumpster, dumpster fires that, that is the state of the world right now. It's like you're you're using your creativity, I think, to rise above all of that. And so there's a shift in focus from how you're going to support yourself into what feeds you creatively. And you'll probably find that they circle back around and what feeds you creatively has the ability to support you. Okay, that's your shape shift. Now, what does your shape shift look and feel like? We've got the Eight of Swords, the Emperor, there's your card, and the Ten of Pentacles for you again. This image of home and um, a place to feel secure. This, is, this came out for you in the November shift reading as well, Aries. So starting with the Eight of Swords, there is a mental shift that happens when you realize your creativity can sustain you and can bring you the resources you need to not only get by, but to flourish. Uh, even in very intensely chaotic times. And so you are cutting ties here, it seems, with anything that would bind your way of thinking, you know, because this is a huge mental shift. This is not what capitalism teaches us. Typically, um, you have to work hard and you have to suffer and you have to um, keep all of your focus on money in order to make money. And yeah, if you want to make money, there has to be some amount of focusing on money. But there's a there's a belief system shifting here for you, Aries, I think in order for you to accept that your art can support you. You know, and interpret your art however that makes sense for your life. And it's like once you cut ties with any limiting belief systems that would stop you from pursuing this art, then it's like, boom, Emperor Ten of Pentacles, you know? Boom, baby, here you are as the emperor, ready to draw up the blueprints, ready to put these gears in motion and the mechanisms, the structure in place to build, right? This is the architect drawing up their plans and then building 
the dang thing. Building the house, whatever that is for you, that is going to protect you, sustain you, help you feel warm and cozy and taken care of, supported, rooted. You are building your own foundation here, Aries, once you shift your mindset to accept and believe that your creativity can sustain you tangibly, physically, not just emotionally. And, th and that Aries could really feel like you're coming home. It's because this seven of wands is your energy. This is you coming home to yourself. Finding who you are as the world seems to be crumbling. It's really beautiful, actually. Okay, Aries, I'm going to take this into an extended reading now where we're going to use lots of other decks, pull some cards here, and really dig into this reading to see what it's all about for you. So if this is resonating so far and you'd like to follow me into the extended, head to unseenhandscollective.com. You can purchase the extended individually there in the shop, or you can join our membership to receive the extendeds plus your astrology scopes and a, a guidebook to help you process these monthly shifts through our membership. So you've got two options for viewing this extended reading for December Aries. Head on over there and check them out. Take care. Hope you have a good December. We'll talk soon. An energy of like, this is my personal journey. So while validation from your community is super important here and you can find home and victory and support and security in your community, absolutely. This is ultimately about you, Aries. This is about your art and your creativity and your fire and how that actually is the thing that roots you in. I mean, this is a root vegetable. This is the thing that roots you deeper, deeper, deeper down into the ground. Again, your fire lifts you up and at the same time roots you down. It's just like the tree, you know, a tree, the, the higher and taller and, and it grows and the more it expands, the deeper the root system spreads to be able to su support that height.